Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own ham radio repeater for just $60 using two Bofunk radios. The repeater is a device that allows you to extend the range of radio communications by receiving and transmitting radio signals. In this video, I will be walking you through the process of setting up the repeater step by step and showing you how to configure the Bofunk radios to work together. This is a great project for those who are interested in ham radio and just want to build a repeater on a budget. So whatever your beginner or experienced ham radio operator, I hope you find this video informative and helpful. Let's get straight to it. Alright, so basically today's going to be a nice and I want to try to make this video as fast as possible so you guys can go watch other videos or do other things that you want to. So thing I'm going to start out with is just a classic easy $60 repeater because I did say $60 for a repeater, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, uh, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to set your own little repeater, and you can even connect it to the internet, uh, which is pretty easy. So, all you're going to need is two Bofong radios. That's like, Balfangs are like $23 on Amazon, with free shipping and everything. And they have antennas, and they have everything you need to have a repeater. The only thing that you're going to have to buy separate is a cable. Now the cable, which I'm going to be switching to the camera, is a, it connects the regular 2.5, uh, I believe it's a 2.5 millimeter jack to the 3.5 millimeter jack, don't quote me on that, but it's two different size jacks and all you have to do is plug them into the Bofung radio and uh, set up a couple settings. Put in the frequency you want for the transmitting radio, frequency you want on the receive radio, uh, enable Vox on the transmitting radio, and you'll set it up, and I'll be playing that now. Okay, so all you need to do is, uh, this is going to be my transmitting radio. So you go into the menu, make sure squelch is as high as it can be. Uh, you want transmit power to be high. And then you want Vox turned on to 1. And that's all you need. Put in the frequency you want to use. So you want 147.000, whatever frequency this is going to be transmitting on. Then for this radio, it's going to be receiving on 1476. Zero, zero, and then you enter your CTCSS tone that you want, uh, leave the transmitting power at low, and then all you need to do is run a cable. Since this is going to be the transmitting radio, you need a little cable that connects the speaker, I'll put right there, and it transfers it to the mic output right here on this radio, uh, play around with the audio. And then that is how you connect both radios to work together for a repeater. Okay, so for the better Bofeng one, which is what I call it, you would be doing the same thing, except you would be having two Abri 41-inch antennas on the Bofeng radios itself. And we would like to have a about 14-foot uh, spacing between the two radios so they don't interfere with each other, especially if you're using a VHF. It's not so much that bad on UHF, but just keep that in mind. So, the big Balfang repeater. Basically, this is a lot, it's, it's more expensive, and you're going to, like, this would have the maximum range, and it's basically the maximum of how you can put this repeater as far as you can. So basically you need two antennas at the, as far as you can on the side, especially if you're doing VHF you'd want like at least 30 feet spacing and you want good coax too. So it's basically the two both connected with the cable again except they can be uh, close together this time and it would have two big antennas and you can get out pretty decent if you have the antennas, uh, the big antennas at a high level, like at 20, 30 feet, and you're up at a decent height compared to other people. If you're living in a hilly area and you live a little bit up the hill, that can go a long ways with your radio for a repeater and can actually be pretty decent. So if you do want to take it to the extreme level, 
that would be the way to do it. Now, you might be wondering, I don't want to set all that up. I just want a repeater that plugs and plays. So I will be showing you how you can have one of those repeaters that does that. And there's this thing called the Retivis R RT97. And it's a repeater that has everything in it. It's, it, I believe it has 5 watt output according to one YouTuber that reviewed it. It has a duplexer pre-built inside it. So Redivus RT97, it can do ham and GMRS and it's, I would buy it, but I like VHF and it also has a price tag of $450. I believe the ham version is $400. Uh, but you can get this and it can be a nice repeater, let's say, if you are interested in putting this up on a hill, 30 feet tower or something, or up in a tree or something. This is really, really good for off-grid when, let's say, the power goes out for a long time, or let's say there's a natural disaster that affects your community for a long time, like a huge hurricane went through, or a really bad tornado went through and you're without power for several days and maybe even water too and communications this would be a great thing to deploy up somewhere and have ham radio or gmrs communications if you want a 60 dollars repeater two bow funks one cable and you're good to go hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this or you have any suggestions for videos uh please leave a comment section like subscribe peace